Next weekend, Atlanta will host the largest LGBTQ pride celebration in the South. People from all over the Southeast will come to celebrate and affirm what it means to be oneself. Established in 1971, not too long after the Stonewall riots and our own Ansley raids, it is one of the oldest and largest in the U.S. A special importance is the LGBTQ youth who are watching, who are unable to attend, who perhaps feel that they must hide themselves and hide who they are out of fear of being disowned or the very real threat of violence against them. We are out and we are loud and we are proud for those who must remain here so that they will know where to find us and our allies for if and when they decide to come out. According to the Trevor Project, over 1.8 million LGBTQ youth between the ages of 13 to 24 consider suicide. 1.2 million of them are between the ages of 13 to 18. I know I was in that range. Having one supportive adult in an LGBTQ youth's life can reduce the risk of suicide. By 40%. <laughs> That's quite simply remarkable. The influence one can have. How one can support by simply being a person who says with their actions, I see and respect you. The motto of the Duchess is noblesse oblige. For those of us in privileged positions, it is part of our duty. That motto is what I hope is represented by this crowd the duty I have to support and to give back, to reach a hand to someone who may need it, and most of the time, to not even be aware how that hand has helped. I am quite privileged in my life. I took to tears Friday evening after a visit with my father, helping him print out some things at the print shop. I then sat with the dear afterwards in the living room and reflected on how fortunate I am and how fortunate I have been to have a supportive partner, to get to live, at least for the right now, with my younger brother in my house, to have parents and aunts and uncles and relatives who just love me, to be surrounded by love from my friends and the community. I have no other choice but to share that love. Understanding my own privilege has helped me become more visible. It has helped me find my voice and the duty I feel I have. It has helped me, as I have transitioned, in the conversations I've had with people in the neighborhood and who have come into the print shop. For our straight allies, just being visible has opened up avenues to conversations about LGBTQ issues. I had one customer last week who came into the store at closing. He's a cis straight black male, mid thirties or forties. He remarked, you remind me of my son. You remind me of my son. Meanwhile, because it was at closing, I was cursing me he stub his toe in the dark that night. But he kept saying to me, you remind me of my son. Finally, I asked him how, how do I remind you of your son? And he told me, my son is like you. He wants to be a woman. And me personally, I admire your confidence. And we talked. And he kept reiterating how much he loved his child. How, after his child came out, it took him a while to understand. But he just wanted his daughter to know he loved her. And even now, all he wants is for his daughter to be happy. There are countless conversations like this that must happen and should happen by those of us who are more visible. Now, it is emotional labor, but it is emotional labor worth investing in because there are 1.8 million youth every year between the ages of 13 to 24 who consider suicide. Far too many of them end up dead. And if not dead, LGBTQ youth are 120% more likely to experience homelessness. Family conflict is the most common cause. 
So, as we come upon the week of pride, consider how to be more visible. Consider how you can lend a hand. Whether you are gay, lesbian, bi, trans, poly, questioning, queer, or just straight, consider how you can support by simply being yourself and by being an ally. Find a way to lend a hand. I hope to see you at the Pride festivities next week, perhaps walking through Piedmont Park. It's not Grant Park, but it is a lovely park. And as always, don't forget to crown yourself. Until next time, 